Hello everyone, so we will continue over the interview preparation parts. So I have a couple of the question which was asked in an interview. So first we are going to understand the question and then we will see how actually you can write a query for that. Okay, okay. So let me open. So first let me show you the table. So this is the employee table I have. If you will see in this table, I have a ID, I have a first name, middle name, last name, salary and the higher date and I have a couple of the question so in an interview also they will give you one table and they will give you couple of the scenario question and based on that you have to write a query okay so let us see what is the first question first question is like find the employees who hired in the last two months okay so if you will see in this particular table I have a higher date okay in this higher date it is giving me information when this employee got hired okay now what actually I have to find out I have to find out all the employee who hired in the last two months from the current date till last two months how many employee got hired okay in the last two months how many employee got hired that is the information I should get okay now how we actually we can find out that that for that we have to write a query okay so first you should know how actually you can write a query to get the current date okay for getting the current date what you will write get date this is the get date function we have if I will execute you will get the current date current date information you will get you can see 4th of September is the current date okay so from the current date in the last two months how many employee got hired that actually we have to find out okay so what we will do from the current date we will try to minus this higher date okay whatever the month we will get okay if it is in between two months range then actually we will consider that employee okay so how actually we can find out the difference between this current date and this higher date that actually we are going to see okay so how actually we can write a query for that first we will give select star okay we have a date diff function okay so we have to write date diff okay and after that you have to write the month okay we want to find out the month difference right so I will write the month okay and after that the column name so column name is higher date right and after that I will write the get date get date is a current date okay so what actually I am trying to find out I'm trying to find out the date difference okay and the month I am passing so it will give the month difference between the higher date and the current date okay and I will give the name as a month difference okay this is the name I will give from employee table okay and what actually I will do where okay so suppose if I'll execute this okay suppose if I'll execute this let me show you what actually I am getting okay if you will see ID 1 who actually got hired on the 8th of August if you will see the month difference is the 1 month okay similarly ID 2 who actually got hired on the 7 1 the month difference is the 2 month similarly for the ID 3 the month difference is 3 similarly for the ID 4 month difference is the 2 okay so what actually we have to find out if the who actually got hired in the last 2 months so the month difference should be in between the 0 to the 2 months okay so what actually we will write where this month difference right so uh, what I will write where this function it should be between 0 and 2 what, why 0? 0 is for the if any got higher on the current date right so we will get the 0 also okay so 0 and a 2 that actually we will write now if I will execute you will only be able to see three record who actually got hired on the last two months so this is how actually we have to solve it okay so what actually we have written we are using the day difference we are passing the month and we are trying to find out the difference between the higher date and the current date okay if anyone is asking the last two months so you have to pass the between the 0 and the 2 if anyone is asking the 0 and 3 in the last three months so you have to pass the 0 and 3 so that is how actually you have to find out okay now let us see the next question okay find find the employees who hired in the last n days okay now you have to find out how many employee who actually got hired in the last 60 days 30 days 90 days any kind of the question they can ask okay so for that how actually you can write a query you have to write select star okay we will use the date div okay we will pass the day previously we were passing the month right now we will pass the day okay we will we'll pass the higher date we will pass the current date get date ok day div I am giving the column name as a day div from the employee table ok and after that I will pass the where this difference should be 
zero and uh, ninety days. In the ninety days, how many employee actually got hired? That actually we are going to find out. Okay, if I will execute, you can see ID one. The day difference is the thirty four days. Okay, for ID two, day difference is the sixty five. For ID four, day difference is the sixty five. So in the last ninety days, how many employee got hired? That actually you are going to see, and that actually you, you will get the answer from this particular query. Okay, I hope you got it. Similarly, we have another question. Find the employees who hired in the last n years. Okay, in the last n years, how many employees got hired? Okay, in the last one year, how many employees got hired? If you have to find out, obviously you can write a query for that. Similar query, select star. Okay, we will use the date diff. Okay, we will pass the year. Okay, and we will pass the hire date, get date. Okay, as year difference. Okay, from employee table. Okay, and where this difference should be zero to n, where between zero and one. Okay, so what actually we are finding out in a zero to one year, how many employee got hired? Okay, if I execute, you will see this all the employee. who actually got hired in the current year only so we are getting the zero year difference okay so that is how we have to solve this question okay now next question is interesting okay okay if i'll show you this is the employee details i have okay now what actually they are asking i have to find out all employee name and the salary details okay if you'll see we have a id we have a first name middle name last name and the salary okay if you'll see in a first name the name is given in some of the name middle name is given but the first name is null in some of the scenario last name is given but the first name and the mid name is given okay so what actually i have to find out i have to find out the id i should get the valid name okay if it is a null then i should get the valid name okay i shouldn't get the null okay so that is the scenario okay so if you see in id 2 right i should get the id 2 and the john and the salary Similarly for the ID three, I should get ID three and the Sam and the thirty thousand. I shouldn't get the null. Okay, so I have to handle that scenario. So for that, how actually we can write a query? So let us see. So we have to find out the ID. Okay, and you have to find out the name. Okay, for the name you have to consider from these three column: first name, middle name, and the last name. So what we will do? We will use the colis function. Okay. Okay, we have a colis function. So here I will find out what this colis will do. It will give the first not null value. Okay, so I'll pass the first name, middle name, and the last name, and I will give the name as a alias as a name. Okay, from employee table, and also I want to find out the salary also. Okay, if I will execute this. you will see i am getting the id name and the salary okay and there is no null value okay if id if first none not null value actually it is considering so that is how actually we have to solve it i hope you got it okay yeah that's it in this video thank you